In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use a T84 graphing calculator to approximate a definite integral. Okay. So for this uh, example, uh, we're going to use the following integral here. So the integral of sine of x squared going from 0 to pi over 2. Okay. So the first thing that you want to do is uh, graph this function. Okay. So we're going to uh, go ahead and graph sine of x squared. Uh, but before before I do that, I want to make sure that we're in radian mode, okay, because our bounds are in radians. Okay, so to do that, just go to mode here, okay, that's next to the, the second button. Okay. And on the third line, okay, you will see that you have an option here between radians and degrees. So, uh, so it looks like I'm already in radian mode, okay, so to get out of this, just hit second quit. And then we're going to go ahead and plot this now. So click on Y and put in the function. So we have sine of X squared. Okay. And then from here, click on graph. Okay. So the reason it's showing up like this uh, is because I have it on the default window settings, uh, which means it's going from minus 10 to 10 along the x-axis and minus 10 to 10 along the y-axis. Okay, so what I'm, going to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and um, change the window settings to to give a uh, to, get, to give a better view of this. Um, so let's go ahead and I'm going to make x min at zero. Okay, so let's let the graph start at zero and x max I'm going to put I'm going to put that as pi. All right, and for the uh, for the y-axis, I'm going to have for y min, I'm going to have minus one, and for y max, I'll just have one here, uh, because we know that uh, for this particular function, we know it's bounded between negative one and one. Okay, so so from here we can graph this. Okay. All right, so here's the graph of sine of x squared between zero and and pi, uh, and and it's between minus 1 and 1, okay? Um, so when you're doing an integral like this, make sure that you're, you know, it's important to make sure that your window settings, you know, for the x values, uh, capture these bounds, okay? All right, so from here, uh, we can go to second, click on second, and then calculate. Or, so to get that second trace, okay? So second trace will access the calculator menu, okay? And then if you notice here, there's the integral of the function, okay? So you can either scroll down, okay? Or you can just click on the number, okay? So in this case, I'm gonna go ahead and click on um, seven, okay? And so then the first thing it will ask you is the lower limit, all right? So you want the lower bound, which in this case is zero. So just put in zero and then enter. And the next thing it will ask you is the upper limit, okay? So the upper bound is pi over 2. Okay, so we're going to put in pi over 2. Hit enter. And you see there's the result. This is the approximation of this integral. And so it not only gives you the approximation, uh, but it also gives you the, um, uh, the region. Okay, see the, the, um, the, the region uh, between 0 and and pi over 2, uh, and bet uh, between uh, this, the function of sine of x squared and the x-axis, okay? So that's the, um, so that represents, right, the area, right? This value represents the area of this bounded region, okay? So that's one way you can do this. Uh, you can approximate this integral, okay, um, using your calculator. The other way is to use the symbolic, um, to use the symbolic tool, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and quit out of this so you can do that by hitting second mode okay. and then if we click on math right okay and then scroll down to until you get to this okay where it says um, function and int okay so we're going to enter we're going to select this one okay. and so it's going to bring up the uh, this uh, symbolic uh, tool Okay, symbolic integral here. Okay, um, so what you can do is, okay, you just go ahead and put in the bounds. Okay, 
You can put our imbalance, put in the actual function, and then put in the uh, variable um, that that we're integrating with respect to. Okay. All right, so we're going to put in zero for that's our lower bound. Our upper bound again is pi over two. Okay. And then we have the function sine of x squared. Okay. And then put in the variable here. Okay. So that's going to be x. And then just click on enter. Okay. And there's the approximation. Okay. So now one thing to keep in mind is that um, the graphing, this particular graphing calculator does not do symbolic integration, which means it won't give you um, it won't give you the antiderivative of that function. Okay, it can only give you the the approximation of definite integrals. Okay, all right. So uh, this is quite useful, uh, especially for those integrals where we can't do on paper. Okay, um, so if you come across a problem um, that's in your homework that says that it needs a you need graphing capabilities then that means you need to use your calculator uh, to evaluate the integral, okay? Uh, because either we haven't talked about the techniques yet to solve that integral, or it's just impossible to solve on paper, okay? And so later, uh, later in the course, we will talk about uh, other ways to approximate the, um, the definite integral. Um, in particular, those topics will be the, um, uh, the trapezoid method and the uh, Simpsons rule. Okay, so those are both ways at which we can uh, approximate uh, a, a definite integral. Okay. All right. So, um, so hopefully this will um, will help you with uh, some of the uh, homework problems, particularly particularly those um, that require um, the uh, technology.